Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Briggs R, your home for all things Lego. And today we're going to do a little update. I've um, not made much progress this year as I had hoped. Uh, it was supposed to be a year of a different t-shirt every day. <laughs> and a year of organizing the basement. It's actually just gotten worse. So we're just going to kind of give you a quick overview of how bad it's gotten. And maybe... Well, being that this is day 213, I have 152 days left, if I did the math right, of trying to get at least a dent where it looks a little better. I mean, we did build the shelves, so I'll show you that. And But then I immediately cluttered them up. I did sell some comic books, not enough. Uh, and I'm wearing a shirt from 1984. 1984. I think this is the oldest thing that I can still... Kind of, I say fit into. It's a medium. It's literally a medium. I yes, I was 16 years old, <laughs> and I probably haven't worn this since then. Yeah, probably the last time I wore this was 85, 86. I don't know. But this is a this is a softball jersey, by the way, uh, for guest services. One of the, uh, the department I was in, it was called Guest Services then. They changed the name like every five years. Uh, but yeah, we were, the, we were the ones that swept the trash and cleaned the bathrooms. And this, uh, this shirt is awfully tight. So not much has changed in the minifigure stairwell at all. In fact, it's probably gotten a little more disorganized. I, I still want to try to figure out how to get some posters up there. Uh, it's just so far down. <laughs> to get up there. I got uh, some paintings my brother did. I was thinking about uh, putting up there because they might be easier to hang than a poster, believe it or not. So the bookshelf, not much has changed. The BrickLink store is the only organized part of the basement. So everything's still the same here. I did fill up almost all of the drawers. I think I had like four or five drawers left. These are the empty drawers. We we dumped the empty drawers there. I put this is a wireless printer. I put this here. I do want to try to hook it up because uh, then we could like print from here if we wanted to. I got a scale. I could set this um, another scale. I could I put a scale here? We could actually pack everything up and print the labels here if I wanted to. Uh, but yeah, this is most of the Bricklink store to here. Now this is where it starts to look bad. So there's the comic books. Uh, there's some instructions I haven't sorted yet. These are the boxes that have come in the last couple of months. <laughs> so, kind of give you an overview of how I contribute to the problem getting worse. Uh, all those haul videos and such. This is the boxes and trying to decide if I need to keep these for storage or shipping things that I sell. Uh, I do need to sell a lot of things and um, not Lego, but other other things and the big boxes I may not need for most of what I got to sell. Plus, I can use the priority mailboxes even if I get give it smaller things. Just just use the priority mailbox. Oh, there's all the paper from all the the paper. <laughs> I need maybe I need to make a big box to stuff all the paper in. Uh, then we got a bunch of random junk that's just laying out here. More random junk that needs to be cleaned up. So I did get most of the table cleared off uh, recently. It got piled up when we had the hot water thing. I got a haul I got to be doing at some point. Um, but the problem is, I you know, like I did the video on Luke's land speeder. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> did a video on the typewriter. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> then over here I got all the, uh, the custom tipper trucks that people made. Yeah, and I got the flower here. There's another thing I did a video on recently. I don't know where to put it. Uh, so I want to reorganize these shelves too and kind of, if I look back at when we first put these shelves here, they weren't so cluttered, but I've been adding a little at a time <laughs> to clutter it all up. Um, yeah, there's tipper truck parts in that box. Junk on the floor. Vsauce curiosity boxes there. Junk. This is stuff we need to get rid of that nobody wants, just like toys. The magic spin art stuff is probably so old, the ink's all dried up, because that's from when the kids were little. I just probably need to throw that away. 
bought that Atari flashback. We never used it. Maybe we should try it out. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got over here. So there's stuff that came in. Trains are fun. The only video he did this month or month of July was of that. Uh, this is an empty box, I think. There's some tipper trucks. That's where all the tipper trucks are. There's my abandoned railway. Um, and there's stuff like this. This is like, I want to get all this stuff out of the floor. And so one of the things I want to do is consolidate what's in these boxes. So we're going to start going through and sorting those if for real. Um, but, oh, look, I need more shelves for the boxes. I can't even get to the comic books now. So everything had to get moved so I could get the hot water heater out of here. And now I can't even get to the comic books. I mean, this is literally just, you see there's stuff uh, there. Only person that can get back there is uh, Charlie. And so that's where we're at with all of that. That is the empty Millennium Falcon box. And then this room is a disaster still. So this is probably where I can find a lot of things that I can sell or get rid of. Get rid of this old lawnmower. Uh, got all the empty boxes, which I would love to put the empty boxes in the attic if it's not going to be too hot for them, which I don't think that's possible. If I put that cardboard in the attic, it's going to kind of dry rot, correct? Am I, am I wrong on that? Unless I figure out some way of adding some insulation where it's not completely 190 degrees up there. I don't know. Some are probably saying, yeah, just throw the boxes away. <laughs> I got a lot of boxes. Still need to move the shop back. <laughs> Still need to move all the, all this stuff got moved over here when the hot water heater thing happened. Um, did get this table mostly cleared off. I'm going to build a roller coaster here. I just hang out around to it. Uh, there's the new hot water heater. Okay. Um... T-shirts, still got a few T-shirts to go. Uh, comic books, comic books, and can't get back there right now. <laughs> oh, it's sad. Uh, I think we are going to use this table for the space shuttle collection. So I want to, we'll have to move all these and uh, just figure out how we're going to place them on here. I need to get the stuff to, oh look, more boxes over there. Get rid of all that stuff. And I want to get all this, I've been just, everything turns into a catch-all. I do catch all everywhere, so get all those boxes over there off of that table, and then this will be either like the space shuttles will probably cover this whole table to where all those boxes are, and I might put some big Star Wars sets up there. Like they might be bricks has really been bugging me to build the um, Star Destroyer, and I need to build build the Millennium Falcon, so we can probably fit some of the. Um, UCS sets up there, and depending on how I do it, I could put them up higher. I could build a shelf where you could uh, do more. Then still had nothing's changed since the, the video I did showing where Charlie messed all that up. And then yeah, we just got a bunch of stuff stacked there. I did organize the pink drawer. That's the one thing we did. So all the pink fits in these three drawers. They are pretty much full, almost full. And what I'm going to do is as I there's more pink in the collection as I find it. I'm going to put it all in one bag and then every so often then I'll go and sort it and put it by the category in each drawer. But uh, instead of going through and trying to find like the, I find four or five pieces, just put them all in one bag till I build up a lot and then sort them all at once. That way I'm sorting uh, less, I think, that way. Still need to build this shelf. This shelf, these, these shelves are going to go back there where all that comic book stuff was. I just got to move all that stuff before I can get to it. I did kind of organize the comic books that I need to sell, get those listed on eBay, get rid of them. That'll clear up all that space. Um, I'm going to be doing a video. That package that was on the white table is uh, for these two sets, Cafe Corner and Ninjago City Docks. I'm getting really close to getting all the pieces. And this is stuff I need to figure out where to put it, sort it away. Um, and then we can... My, I thought, you know, we're going to get the, the city going. Didn't... 
if I would just stop storing stuff on the table, we, we could do it. I mean, there's boxes, there's instructions, it's just sad. And then so, these are all the base plates down here and then other random junk. Want to get this was supposed to be for storing Lego instructions and binders like this, and again, it ends up being a catch all. Still, want to get some more white shelves. Shelving, if I have to cut regular boards or melamine or something, add more shelves. I'm going to do more of the train stuff like this, um, where I can uh, fill up that whole shelf and just have all trains all up in there. Still got to get Joey back for the stuff he sent me <laughs> right there. Um, still need to organize all this. Uh, oh, look, another shelf that's become a catch-all. There's random trays sitting there. I'm going to put Yoda on one of these. Uh, this would be like a Yoda shelf or something. I need to figure out where to store all the, the Star, Star Wars. You know, the Star Wars is the theme I have the most sets of. I would have never thought that, but yeah, I got a lot of Star Wars sets. And there's the t-shirt boxes, uh, blocking all the Thomas and Friends stuff. Um, yeah, so that's a quick overview of the whole collection. There's the new stack-ons or acro mills things. Thank you, um, Brick Revolution, for the tip on these. Haven't really started labeling those, but uh, that's where I'm at. So that's a quick update for August 2021, day 213. 152 to go in 2021. So let's see if I can make any improvement. With the first seven months, we didn't make hardly any improvement. If anything, it got worse. Uh, so I'm going to consolidate, get rid of duplicate sets, uh, organized, unsorted boxes, like all those... Uh, shoebox containers, Sterilite containers, a lot of that stuff is not sorted, so I can really consolidate the space that things take up. Sell things I don't need, like some of these Mega Blocks and other brands that I ended up never building. I probably should just sell those. <laughs> Got a, oh, I didn't even show you those. Those are up in the bedroom, so oh, there's a stack of that stuff. <laughs> it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, and then uh, things that I need to part out, just go ahead and get those parted out. So got a lot of work to do and I need to really get going doing it. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in another video. Oh, this is the hopefully the last medium I'll be wearing. Nobody needs to see this.